This is not the most accurate way of telling you how hard this little rifle hits, but it gives you an idea. These are RWS Superdomes hitting my steel backstop that I use at 30 yards, 0.22 calibre, and they are splattered. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this is the Browning X-Blade Hunter and it really does pack a punch for a little brake barrel air rifle Springer as well it really is pretty cool and I've found it very difficult to find fault with this rifle because it is pretty damn cool so let's just give you the specs on it first of all before we jump in to a bit of detail in a rack and load style. So, overall length of this gun is 1090 millimeters. Just thought I'd go metric there for you. And for the old schoolers, as far as weight's concerned, just under three and a half kilos. Uh, that's unscoped. Now, before I do go into detail, I'll just show you some of the other Browning air rifles that are available. Uh, this one here, the Browning Phoenix Elite, that looks pretty cool that does, in a synthetic stock. Really cool, not got my hands on one of them, when I do, you'll see it here, so stay tuned. I'll just show you what else they do, that's like the standard Phoenix there. And then you've got the wooden stock version, that does look quite nice I must admit. And then they do an under lever as well, the leverage. That looks really nice. I definitely need to get my hands on one of them to show you guys. So yeah, there's quite a bit to offer. Uh, I haven't got the latest brochure that actually shows this one. Uh, so you're just going to have to take my word for it, guys. So, what's this thing like then? So, accuracy. Well... On my little test range, these were the results I were getting. Uh, scoped, obviously, uh, I didn't use the open sights, just used this uh, rifle with a scope on. This is what I was getting using RWS Superdomes, 30 yards, uh, and these are three shot groups. Yeah, I know, not great. Down to me, the shooter, you know, but this thing has got quite a bit of recoil for a, a little Springer and the trigger has got a little bit of uh, play in it as well well a little bit of take up rather than play um, but I was definitely happy with that group one whole group 30 yards I had the odd flyer but not bad not bad at all for a brake barrel Springer at 30 yards you know that's a kill if you're using this thing to hunt, say a rabbit for instance. So really not bad at all. So let's take a closer look at this rifle then. Let's go from the butt end or recoil pad end. Now you've got a nice styled rubber recoil pad or butt pad. Got Browning's logo on there which is really nice fairly hard rubber it's not like a real soft rubber but you know it's grippy enough to stay in the shoulder myself I'd probably like that a little bit softer but no it's cool and then you've got Browning's logo there sort of etched onto the stock either side let's get it in the light and this is a lovely beach stock by the way fully ambidextrous so absolute win if you're a lefty like myself and then the pistol grip is really nice you've got quite a lot of checkering there it's not very sharp checkering uh, I think it's pressed checkering rather than uh, you know real sharp cut checkering but it's not bad not bad at all and then let's just swing the rifle around and get you a better look you've got checkering there on the fore end either side it is quite grippy myself I'd like that a little bit more grippy to be honest you know just a little bit sharper but it is nice it is a nice stock overall 
and it feels solid as well in the hand even right at the end of the re uh, fore end it is nice and chunky now the trigger is unfortunately from what I can see non adjustable there's no way to adjust this trigger which is a great shame because it is fairly heavy and there's quite a bit of take up when you before you actually release the shot you do kind of get used to it but it's just a little bit heavy when you're trying to stay on target that's probably my only criticism of this rifle because everything else on it is absolutely bang on but anyway talking about the trigger the actual blade itself is metal got like this textured finish on it which offers quite a bit of grip what I do like is the polymer trigger guard which is massive so if it's middle of winter and you're wearing gloves plenty of room in there for a gloved finger by the way guys ignore the scope it is just a test scope but there is plenty of rail to get your scope mounts on this rifle plenty of rail so you've got plenty of room to adjust your scope for your required eye relief the Browning X blade does not come with a scope it comes with open sights with true glow fiber optic sights which to me look really good really good quality um, and really po positive adjustments on them I didn't use them to be fair because when I got this rifle I literally just banged a scope straight on it but from what I can see and I've used quite a lot of uh, open sights in my time uh, these do feel really quite good and that true glow front sight fiber optic sight really is good it's you know it just offers maximum sort of glow if that's what you'd want to call it even in dusk twilight conditions it really do, does kind of suck in the light I am a big fan of these fiber optic open sights now to cock the rifle fairly self-explanatory it's just a break break barrel rifle just give it a bit of a tap and then cock it all the way when you do cock it you, there is an automatic safety catch which pops out at the back and that is really cool really cool safety catch in the perfect place for me you know if left-handed right-handed you've got perfect access for that or to that with your thumb it really is a nice safety catch nice and positive I'll just close the barrel show you how it operates just literally push it forward and that's it safety's off and you can pull it back on as well if you need to which is a great feature I really do like that safety catch while I've got the rifle open I'll just show you the barrel there obviously a rifle barrel and then a bit of grease on there but there's all your sort of guts nice and chunky nice and solid the linkages as well are again nice and solid chunky feel really really tough there's no rattle in this gun whatsoever even when it's cocked or half cocked like that nothing rattles that's just my watch strap that you can probably hear that's rattling but no sort of uh, sloppy sort of rattles on the linkages whatsoever it is just solid and it really does feel quality when you cock this rifle and the lock upon it is solid as well no wobble in there just everything is rock solid how it should be and that is cool where the safety catch is housed I like the way all this is in polymer 
it kind of hides any seams or any places where water or dirt might get in kind of makes it weatherproof because on some air rifles you do have a you know few nooks and crannies in this sort of area but they seem to have uh, dealt with that on the X-Blade Hunter which is nice and keeps this rifle fairly maintenance free you've got Browning's logo there on the left hand side of the rifle Another great feature about this rifle is that you get a polymer coated barrel. The barrel is 17 and a half inches long by the way guys, but it is fully coated with polymer which offers quite a bit of grip when cocking this rifle as it is a brake barrel. And not only that, you haven't got to worry about corrosion because it is completely weatherproof. It just really is nice, feels nice, feels tough, you know, you won't mind sort of uh, resting this thing on a gate or anything like that you know if you're out in the field hunting with it so it really is quite nice it's not going to scratch up like a you know a, a blue barrel would I'll just show you the box guys nothing really overly interesting about the box it is what it is so you know don't get too excited about the box but get excited about what's in the box The manual is pretty good as well, I was quite impressed with the manual. Obviously find your language first, but at the front is the English part of it. Gives you all your uh, safety precautions, all your usual stuff that you get in a manual. And then all your uh, technical stuff as well. And then it really does go into quite a bit of detail on obviously how to load the rifle, how to adjust the sights, how to cock it and basically how to shoot the rifle and get yourself sort of set up and started especially if you're a new shooter and gives you a bit of maintenance specifics there as well which really is cool So yeah, good manual. Okay then guys, that's your rack and low review of the Browning X-Blade Hunter. In my opinion, a real good brake barrel air rifle. I just wish they'd sort this trigger out and make it adjustable so it could be finely tuned. But apart from that, a real nice rifle. I love the look of this gun. I love the lines of it. Love that big trigger guard, you know, that makes this gun glove friendly. And I absolutely love the polymer coated barrel. It really is a tough little cookie this rifle is without doubt. Anyway guys, like I said, that's your rack and load review. Thanks for watching. See ya.